hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell from the title i'm going to be doing some bantu knots and my 4c hair i say 4c hair even though i don't like to label my hair i only say 4c for you to get an idea of the type of texture um my hair has so um let's get on with it so for today i'm gonna be using this I don't know if you can see it um, as my leave-in condition conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in my hair. If you get moisturized. So tip one for doing bantu knots is don't do it on wet hair. Like you never want to do bantu knots on wet hair because it takes a long time to dry. And you know, for your bantu knots to come out perfect, it has to um, be completely dry. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use some coconut oil mixture to, you know, seal in that moisture. So it's just mostly coconut oil and a little bit of olive oil. Um, I don't really like using, I'm not gonna use a lot, I'm just using like a tiny bit because it has olive oil in it. But you don't wanna use a heavy oil like olive oil. So if you, if you have coconut oil only, then you can go ahead and use that because you don't want your hair to be weighed down. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and part it with my finger. So the style of um, how bantu nuts are, you wanna make sure that you don't get your parts perfect because if you get your parts perfect, they're gonna show. So you don't want your parts to be perfect. So you part it with your finger. Um, one thing I do use in my hair that a lot of people that have forced hair use don't use this comb. I like using comb my hair because you know my hair gets knotty fast and if I don't comb it out it's gonna get so knotty and break off so I don't do that. So you wanna go ahead and twist your hair. People some people just wrap it around but I with forcey hair that's like tip <laughs> tip number three this is basically you have to because of how the hair texture is and you know you have to make your curls with 4c hair you want to go ahead and um twist it to give it a more defined look so you want to go ahead and twist it so when you're showing the bottom i don't know if you can see like right here you're gonna go ahead and um use a little bit gel, use a little bit of gel sorry you're gonna use go ahead and use a little bit of gel to um help define the ends of it so but don't use a lot because like i said 4c hair is better when you um 4c hair 4c hair bantu knot is better when you when it's like com completely dry so the gel that i'm using is this eco styler purple gel and guys let me tell you this is the only one that i've seen that actually works with um 4c hair even for wash and goals like it is the bomb for wash and goals so make sure that whenever you're using a gel, you want to use a gel that won't leave any white residue. I feel like the green eco styler gel is one of those ones that use that leave the white residue. So you just want to go ahead and be careful um, of that. So let's get on with it. So what I'm doing right now is just I'm just twisting it first because to give it a more defined look before I start wrapping. And because I'm working in section, it is so much easier when you do it like this. Like I said, with bantu knots, you don't want the parts to be perfect. Cause if the parts to be if the parts is perfect, whenever you um whenever you comb that out, whenever you pull it out, you're gonna see the parts in it. And you don't want that. You want your hair to look like it's nice like all over. So you go ahead and do that. And I know it looks kind of rough on camera, but believe it or not, my, this comb is going through my hair because I'm not working in big section. I'm detailing in small section, so it's not breaking my hair. And I've had my hair for over a few years, and this is always this has always worked for me. So comb is. Like I say, if you know what you, if you know what you're doing, I don't want any tangles in my hair, and my hair it gets tangled real fast, so I don't want any tangles in my hair. So I know what I am doing, and this is just you know if you have that four C here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish the rest of these.
gonna show you a close-up of how I do the things. So let me come a little closer. So I wanna you have the hole right here, and you're gonna wrap it around and just wrap it around and just wrap it around. And then you can just use a finger to make it not so tight. Just use a finger and just go around with it. So yeah. It's pretty easy and it's super fast. Like the longest part of it is actually just doing the twists, so you get that. the next day <laughs> my battery died so I couldn't finish the final process for you but here it is so as you can tell no I'm about to pull this out right now because I have somewhere to go so I have to be a little bit fast so I'm gonna get some oil and this is how I put my hair so I'm gonna get some oil just a little bit rub it in and just go like this rub it in all over and then I'm just gonna go like this and I'm just doing it like this um, because it's faster. your hair texture is you don't want to um pull it when you're taking it out so you can twine go all the way down to the end of it before you take it out you don't want to um pull it like this don't put it too hard like a little bit and that's it because you don't want the ends of the hair to get like frizzy and stuff so if you want your hair style to last longer just pull the twist out don't individually pull don't individual twine the twist yet so um, go ahead and pull these out
can tell that I'm looking a little crazy now. So you remember how I was telling you guys that you have to make sure that you comb your hair out because it will get naughty. I want you to look at this. Let me do this. I'm going a little closer. And look at this. Go a little into the end. See this? Like when your hair is combed out and you um and you do that, it, it makes it curl right back up instead of looking a little frizzy. Like, let me show you. Like right here. I think you can tell I didn't comb it all properly, but at the same time I can still like use my finger and just make it curl right back up. So when you comb your hair out, you don't have to worry about if you're going to make your hair look all frizzy or knotty when you take out the little individual twists at the at, because when you take out the little individual twists, so let's go ahead and get this to the side a little bit. I always have this part in my hair because I part my hair in the middle so much. It's always there. Alright, now... Um, gonna do them edges. <laughs> ah, do them edges. The little edges. I won't lay them too much, but I'll let them look semi decent, you know because your hair is going to be covering it right so now this is the part that makes it go from flat to a little bit bigger well not that big but a little bit bigger so we're going to go ahead and use our pick and if you have the iron looking one i think it's much much better to use that one a little bit this one needs to be find out so it's that yeah we're gonna go ahead and fluff the little baby out. Do you see that? Do you see the difference? Like this part is right here and this part is like all the way down here. So that's why you fluff. If you want to look thicker, you fluff. <laughs> Alright, so let's do the other side. That one is cool now. And fluff, and fluff, and fluff, and fluff, and fluff, and fluff, and fluff. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a nice little song. So, what do you guys think of this? And it's like, look at this. Ah. So, this, because of how I pulled it out, and I'm gonna tell you, I didn't take out all the twists individually, because, um, you know, I wanted to last a little long time, because, you know, <laughs> when you come in here, it's, it's a little difficult to come in again. I think I might put some of these down right here. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is the final look and I'm gonna take a picture up a little bit closer so you can see how it looks. But I am super proud of it, so yeah. And I'll show you the back part of it. So this is the side and then this is the back part. And let me know in the description if you want me to do anything else or if you want me to <clears throat> show you how I take care of my hair. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.